Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to quickly go over how to set up a monthly budget in Excel that you could use either for a family, you could extend it to make it uh, for a business or anything larger as well. Uh, but I want to show this tutorial because it can really help you with the, just the very basics of Excel and how to build something that's practical that you could use um, on a daily basis. So I have here obviously just the basics of Excel, everything from creating a new document, sorting, auto sum, I'm not going to go into any of that, I'm just going to go over and go into setting up a, a sheet that you could use to for your family um, that would be a family budget that you could help plan financially where you need to be. So you can see here, I'm, um, as I click around, I select different cells. I'm going to put in here family budget 2012. And again, the numbers could vary, but for now, and I just hit um, control B or command B if you're on a Mac um, to make it bold. And you can increase the size here, I think it's 16 or whatever. Just make it a little bit different, you know, higher uh, font size, just so it'll have some hierarchy in the page. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I have uh, January through August set up here. You could continue on with additional months, but I'm just going to do the first, you know, couple months a year so you can kind of get a, um, a vision for how you could plan a budget. I have all my different um, costs that you would have throughout the year, everything from rent to the car, heat, Electric, um, AC, air conditioning, groceries, utilities, vacation. You might have more as well. And they also have total, just a column that says total at the bottom. Um, I then have January, February across all the columns. You can see January through August. And then the I just put in sample data. If your rent is more, if it's twelve fifty a month, that's fine. And you can just type in twelve fifty, and then go to the corner, bottom right hand corner, and drag across, and it'll update them all to twelve fifty. So you can kind of see how this is very quick. Um, way to set up a sample budget to, to help you with your finances. What I want to do though is I want to add up all the columns. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the cell here. It says total. It's uh, B9, which is 9 is the row, B is the column. So I'm going to click in here and I'm going to type equals sum, open parentheses, close parentheses. Um, and then what you want to do is click back inside the parentheses and then click and drag all the different cells and it'll actually populate B3 colon B8. So that adds the different values that are in those, um, in those rows, it adds them all together. And then hit return or enter on your keyboard, and you can see it adds up that amount. What's cool is you don't have to do it now for the rest of them. You just click like I did before, I just wanna copy that field. What I'm doing is I'm copying this cell to all the different cells in this row. So I'm gonna click in the bottom right hand corner, click and drag, across all of them and you can see it adds up all the different amounts owed throughout that for each month in every column. I'm going to make these all bold so I'm going to select them all and hit command B or control B if you're on a Mac. And now I'm going to add a uh, grand total for the year here, just put YR, equal sum, similar to what I just did, open parentheses, close parentheses, and then click back, and click back between the parentheses and then select all of them here. Just so in a sense I'm saying, okay, now give me the sum of all of these different cells from January to August. So that's my, in a sense, budget from January to August. Uh, one thing I did want to show you that um, might be beneficial is formatting these cells. So I'm going to select all of these cells in here. So just click and drag over all of them, right click, and I'm going to go to, where is it here? Comments, format cells, I'm sorry, format cells. And what I want to do is instead of making this general, this is just in a sense not forming it, I want to make it actual currency. So it'll add, in a sense, it'll add the dollar sign. Um, it'll also add decimal places if you have a certain, you know, if you know the utilities are $200.20, then you can do that by adding in decimal places. So I'm going to click OK. And you can see it adds up and makes it, in a sense, it has all the decimal places. If you want to get rid of the these um, additional decimal places, what you can do is over here in your numbers section, you can get rid of these um, after the decimal point. It'll in a sense decrease the decimal. So it'll make it you know, a little bit more um, easy to read. All right, hope that's helpful. Um, enjoy and make sure you know try to stay on budget. There's additional things that I'll be going over in the upcoming weeks to help you with setting up a quick family budget. But this definitely can help you to figure out, hey, how much money do we need per month to survive? Enjoy.